Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have Nordic Ice Wolf from the X-Fog X-Clan, my former clan. And uh, Nordic sent me this uh, video. He's uh, really, he's just learning to upload the videos and thought he would, uh, you know, this was a test. But I, I watched the video and, and there's some things I think we might be able to help Nordic with. Um, I've played with Nordic for years and, and I know his play style, he's a very aggressive uh, tank driver. Uh, likes to get in there and, you know, go punchy face with people and, and and you know sometimes it works out very well for him um um but sometimes it doesn't and then this is going to be one of those cases where it doesn't work out too well um but like i said he's a very aggressive tank driver so uh nordic spawn he's in his all right i'll learn to talk here nordic is in his t110 e5 he is on tundra in a standard battle in a tier pure tier 10 battle and uh, he spawned over on the north side and looks to be headed over here where the, the heavies generally tend to go. Um, one thing to, to kind of look at, and Nordic, I know you do this, is see what the other side has. You know, IS-7, two IS-7s, uh, some 907s, which are always a pain. Um, you got a, uh, looks like a Death Star. Uh, the Object 264 version 8. So, I mean, they've got a pretty fairly stacked team. And uh, you guys have a couple IS-7s and a 60TP, which is do fairly well. You got a Death Star 2. Um, so, personally, I think the, 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 the HP is over here. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, Nordic's moving over here. Uh, the 110 E5 uh, has is you know, an American tank. Has the usual issues with uh, American tanks, you know, uh, really weak side armor, um, you know, just wide open, big honking turret. We got the tumor up here. Now, I know that they've uh, they buffed that a little bit, but it's still easy, fairly easy to penetrate, especially from an IS-7 and those guys. Um, you got a rounded nose here, which is useful, um, and it plays in plays really good in a hauled down environment. Um, where it can you kind of use this uh, angled armor? If you get this armor from the bottom showing up or anything below, you're gonna you're gonna suffer some pain. So anyway, he's headed over here to the lack of a better word, the canyon. <laughs> and he spots up an I-7. Now, one thing I would tr I try to do, Nark, is I try to light them up so that I have an idea of where the shots are at. Uh, even while I'm moving around, you can tell he's he's pretty much right behind the rock there. So you're not going to get a whole lot off of him right from the get go. But Nordic falls back a little bit. He's got the 60 TP wanting to push in a little bit. Now he's got the other IS-7. Does a little bit of spotting, trying to see who's going to push out first. There's an IS-7. You get a critical. Now I'm not sure what that little jerking with your mouse was yeah that right there i don't know if you're seeing that but uh, and i don't know if it's your hand shaking or if it's if it's just your mouse is too sensitive but it's it's you'll see this little jerking motion left to right jerking motion and i think that causes you to miss a couple shots Nice little shot into the front portion of the IS-7. Pull up a little bit. And you want that IS-7, you bounce his shot, and of course you bounce off of him. Now we see we got the Death Star moving in there. Now at this point, the other team, the enemy team is taking control of the hill. You get an IS-7 over there battling on the hill, which is not very helpful at all. You get another IS-7 playing sniper back here, which is also just useless. <laughs> but, you're dealing with these guys over here. Yeah, you see that shaking? Now, you're thinking you're going to get a good shot into here. Actually, you, I think if you aimed a little bit lower, you, you might have been able to get into the lower plate of him. Or the you know in between the tracks and the in the hall, up here he's got that sloped armor. So, yep, and there's an armor not penetrated. 
13105's coming in behind them. Or she's not going to be able to help much with the two IS-7s there. And you're trying to, I think, just get the top of this Death Star. He's baiting shots out of you. And then he falls back. And now, nah, if you had just held out a second longer, maybe he would have positioned himself where you could have gotten a shot. Of course, then you missed that second shot on him. Uh, they've taken the hill. They're coming in behind you. So at this point, it's just gather as much HP as you possibly humanly can. There's that shaking again. Ricochet off the top of him. Not very... Not going to be a very helpful shot. Um, he's not flat-plated enough, and I don't think you're going to over... Uh, overmatch him. You push out for this size 7, and you auto-aimed on him. Uh, sir, you should have been aiming for that lower plate. And uh, I think you would have had the shot, but auto-aim, you went right into his... Uh, his upper plate, and it, of course it ricocheted right off of him, and this guy's got you lined up. <laughs> and, yep. Sh oh, just a rush shot that didn't do any good. And at this point, you're being pushed from both sides. There's that shaking again. We really, we got to figure out what that shaking is. A tracking shot, and of course you accept some damage from him, and then that's it. So, you, you, you guys didn't really stand a snowball's chance in hell, to be honest with you. Once they took the hill, they were just going to come in behind you. The IS-7 and the, and the Death Star, they just held you up here and allowed these guys to come in from behind you. A couple missed shots. Uh, I think due to that shaking, all right, not sure what it is. Again, mouse might be too sensitive, or maybe your hands do shake. Um, in which case, and you're obviously trying to compensate for it using the auto aim. Um, and, you know, honestly, once you peeled up on the hill like that, you, you'd flat plated yourself. There wasn't anything you could do. Trying to go for a couple of easy, you know, Turret shots on the on the dust are probably not worth it. You went out way too far on that IS-7, and then you auto-aimed when you could have got into the lower plate. Um, yeah, it, it's something to work on. All right, that's about that, you know, it is. We all have those games, trust me. All right, so, you know, like I said, it was a defeat. And you still got 21,884 in credits and an experience of 255. You did, what, you came in third place in damage? And uh, I'm going to say second, well, third place in, uh, you know, base, base experience. So you did 1,275 in damage. Gives you a base XP of 170. 11 shots, 7 hits, 3 pens. So that's the area we got to work on. If you can start getting your, your shot to hit ratio up, that's not bad, you know, 7 to 11, so you're off by 4. Like this, 7 to 3. Out of 3 of those shots, you only got 3 pens. Out of 7 of those shots, you only got 3 pens. Which only allowed you to do 12, 1,275 in damage. You blocked 490. Costly game. So, I don't believe you were shooting uh, gold. I, I thought for sure you were loading the AP, but you may, have, you may have turned to the heat. And I'm a little iffy on heat. Uh... Works great if you can get the flat side of a of a tank, but um, it, it tends to ricochet, and I'm just not I'm not very good with it. M might have been able to throw some HE at him, at least cause a little bit of damage, you know, and then you know maybe get some damage crew or damage uh, modules. Um, you know, it might have been a better alternative than the heat. Um, you know, three three penetrations, you know, not a bad. Well, okay, it was not a good game. Um, you know, but was it all because of your play? No. You and the, the 60 TP were trying to do what you guys could do for just the two of you. Your Death Star came right over and just died. Um, you didn't have much help with the Arty. Um, you know, and then your team just fell apart on the other flank and that allowed them to roll on behind you. So, 
Anyway, that's Nordic Ice Wolf from the X-Fog X-Clan in his T-110E5 on Tundra in a standard battle. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate the support. This is Bonsai Duck out.